Hey, excuse me. Yeah. You mind doing a quick interview for my YouTube channel? Uh, whatever. Sure, it's, uh, it's Adam versus the man. Yeah. You're here at Walmart on Black Friday. What's the significance of this day for you? To laugh at people. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> they get good deals. I came to Walmart to get things for the stockings for Salvation Army. We're Christmas shopping. <laughs> doing the Black Friday deals, yeah. trying to get some. Getting Christmas lights to decorate the house. So everybody else is doing it. We got two 55 inch televisions. Came out to see uh, the specials or what was left. Uh, I bought uh, some shoes, some Jordans. Took my kid shopping. What did you get? Bullshit. Do you think Black Friday is an important American holiday? It's become yeah. a tradition for us. We have it's like our girls' yeah, weekend. We and you do get some good bargains. <laughs> yeah. I guess if you hit it right. I came here to get like uh, Christmas lights and I ended up only getting a, uh, I only spent $210, so I didn't really save money. Catching good deals is, uh, is very significant for everybody, or, or at least this is what everybody thinks. You don't? Uh, no, I do. So do you regret not getting here last night? I got here last night. You got here last night, and even then? I did. It took me two hours, and I stood around, and she said, oh, you just need to go home. Car payment, and uh, sending some money to a friend. So you're not here to take advantage of Black Friday? We did that last night. So there are too many people buying guns on Black Friday for you to actually buy a gun at Walmart in an orderly fashion. Yep, it happens. You know, I stood there and she was trying to help me and then she just kept getting flustered herself. Finally, she told everybody, just go home. Come back tomorrow. Is the gun a gift for someone? No, it was for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's my Christmas present. Thanks, wife. Yeah, we had good deals on the clothes and the TV. It was pretty nice. Almost like half off. That was a good price. It's good. It's good and uh, it's really encouraging and uh, it also promotes the economics of this country. It shows the economy is getting better, that's for sure. And people have to do something to make themselves happy, so this is how they do it. People just need something to do, spend money on. <laughs> there is no other significance. If it were up to me, I would do holidays weeks, months later, when everything's cheaper. You wouldn't just skip it all together? I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> if I didn't have a wife, I would. She's more into that whole holiday thing. But you're here, and, and, and your gun was, was uh, your, your gift of happiness from her. It's supposed to be. She'll find out later. Can you name four different electronics brands carried by Walmart? Sure. Uh, Vizio, Samsung, um, Sony, and Panasonic. Samsung, Emerson, Sony, Vizio. Uh, Samsung. Apple. Sony. Vizio. Toshiba. Yay! There you go. All right. The next question might be a little more interesting. How many countries has Obama bombed since he took office? Uh, how many what? Has what? <laughs> Does it have any relevance to this, this shopping thing? <laughs> what I can answer? Yeah. Jeez. I'd say no. No one. None. None. Uh, four? I don't know if there is five you said. Um, <clears throat> I don't keep up with Obama. Probably coming soon would be Iran. Not yet. But coming soon. I we mean, hope not. Coming, oh, we're not. Hoping. Well, if enough people are paying attention, they won't get away with it. Right. Well, that's yeah. What? Come on, sweets. You gotta know this stuff. <laughs> uh, has he bombed anything? Um. Oh, God, Asia, please help. Please help. You've got to know. I see, I don't watch the news because I can't stand it. I can't stand what's going on. So I keep myself like, yeah, I check in with people. I'm like, are we? So how, did you hear about, how, did, like, how did you hear about Black was. Friday? I just kind of know those that I know. You know, I get the sale papers at the house. I can't stop those from coming. That's your connection to the outside world? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Do you, so, do you look up the answer yet? Four places Obama has bombed? That's very rude of him, I think. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, really. I thought we were the good guys, no? <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Um, I guess we were... Uh, I guess we were in Iraq, right? Uh, Afghanistan. Uh, I don't know. Some, somewhere in the Middle East. There's a few more in the Middle East. Uh, 
You put me in a spot there. Uh, I don't know. Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, no. Not yet. Not yet. Syria is not. The not yet either. Not yet. Egypt. No, nope. didn't have didn't have to drop any bombs no, there. Not there. Okay. Countries that he bombed since he was in office. Wow. I don't think uh, Israel is part of it, but. No, we haven't bombed Israel yet either. Yet. Don't know the rest. She's only 14, so I guess she has a little bit of an excuse. Not so much me. Actually, I just watched Fox News for the first time in like probably a good year, at least a year. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I was like, who's bomb? What the hell? I was like, oh, God, this is the end. So that's why I'm here to shop because I can spend everything I have. I don't have to worry. Because the world's going to come to an end on, on the 21st anyways, yes, right? we're here. It's there. We're done. This is the last holiday season you'll ever have to worry about. Savings. I don't need to worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> that honestly is how I feel. Okay, I well, actually had $500 in my purse for part of my rent. And I was like, you know what? Fucking Christmas lights are more important than rent. Who knows if, you know, we're still going to be here. <laughs> I said uh, Egypt also. Egypt? Yes. No, there were no American bombs dropped on Egypt. I mean, with the allies. Not regularly involved. None that I know of, and you're way past. Okay, thanks. Iraq, Afghanistan. I know what you're doing here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Iraq and Afghanistan, those are the main ones. Here, I'll give you a clue. Qaddafi. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't watch the news. I'm too busy watching YouTube. Well, this is going to be on YouTube. <clears throat> Israel. We haven't, but we need to, and North Korea. <laughs> really not a bad answer. I cannot answer that one because of the job I'm in. So ask another question. We have a fallback question. Okay. It's easier, simple, one answer. How many veterans commit suicide per day here in the United States? Really? Are there a lot? I don't know. But I think uh, veterans should be respected and they should be given top priority in this country. Well, how many do you think? What do you mean by how many are committing suicide? Per day. I don't know. I don't Take a guess. Why do they need to commit suicide? This is a great country. I mean, that's what I'm thinking like. I don't want to give any count, but generally it's a great country. For the veterans, I think they might be given some more country's consideration than what they are now. Mm -hmm. I think it's a better country compared to other, uh, all the other countries. I don't know. I've never thought of that. I'll that's just guess. Question. Yeah, that's that's awful. Um, I'll just I'll just. Oh, well, the bombing countries. That's not a sad one. No, that's a sad one. But you know. Shit. Are you counting like alcoholic deaths and? Just suicides. Uh, actual suicides, like. Uh... Monthly. Per day. Monthly, I'll go thirteen. <laughs> it's actually eighteen. Per day. Per day. Hmm. <laughs> so I take it you're not you're not trying to buy happiness here at Walmart. No, man. I just buy enough to get along, man. Until we get bombed because we're too busy bombing everyone else. Wisdom in the Walmart parking lot. Per day. Ooh. As far as ratio and uh, percentages, I have no idea. Uh, my wife's a vet, so I'm just happy she's here. I don't know. Uh... One, two, uh, no clue. I would say probably at least two or three. I was uh, in Fallujah in 2004 with the Marines, and, and there are a lot of veterans that are coming home dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. Right. And it's because the foreign policy is so terrible because Americans don't know anything about it and are, are completely detached from the real cost of war that there are 18 veterans committing suicide per day on average here in the United States. That's right. Is it soothe their pain? Mm. A lot of people do that. Yeah. People are shopping to soothe their pain. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Doesn't sound very civilized. No, not at all. Ah, uh, well, uh, knowing that uh, this is how many people get, commit suicide every day, uh, that's obviously not significant at all. You didn't. You didn't find happiness in aisle three. I found a pile of shit. If that's what you're asking. No. You cannot buy happiness, <laughs> but for most people, they think buying the 
the right product is going to make everybody happy. So that's an iffy one, but I'm going to say majority of the people are going to say yes. But didn't you buy happiness for your family members today? Well, yeah, but my love makes them happy. <laughs> yeah, no. I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did buy them happiness, so yes. So are you changing your answer? I, did, I said yes. So yes, you can buy happiness. You can. It's not the right way, but yes, you can buy happiness. All right. For about five seconds, but hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right. Having been borderline homeless for for a period of time, I've We've I've been like homeless for like four years. Yeah, we're just getting back up on our feet. Yes. Well, the uh, the last question here. Then this is this is the chance to to really redeem yourself here. Do you think Do you think that people can buy happiness by coming to Walmart on Black Friday? Um. It's a yin yang question. It is true and it's not true it's both so you said you don't watch the news because you can't stand it what if there was an independent media outlet that was telling you about not just all the horrible things government is doing that you have to know about but also all the beautiful amazing ways that humanity is moving forward and evolving past even needing government that would be phenomenal that would be beautiful that would be something i would watch every day all right. Well, if you promise you'll watch every day, I'll make you the winner anyways. Yay! Adam okay, versus the man. Thank you. <laughs> Adam versus the man is exactly sports, that independent media outlet. And we, we cool. hope to, we do, we do a live show five That's nights a week. Cool. We're not doing it today because it's Thanksgiving weekend. Great. But we do a live show Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. to midnight, five nights a week. So you can tune in then. You can call in. We take live calls. And we cover all the important stuff that you have to know, but we also cover it from the perspective of showing all the amazing things that, that humanity is doing to move past it. And we do a 20-minute nightly newscast five nights a week as well on our YouTube channel. So I'll see you on the interwebs. Yay! Thank you. Well, Black Friday is the day that you guys can save money. If you come early, you'll find some good deals. Don't wait till the last minute because you're not going to find anything. Oh, yeah. Just don't wait till the last minute. Everything's going to be out. So were you able to buy happiness today? Yeah. Every day is a happiness for us. Oh, yeah. She already she saw the hat and way. looked up AdamVersusTheMan.com. <laughs> You just have to get one neocon at a time no, no, no. to put down to, the guns of government. Don't. You, as a free, beautiful, independent human being with inalienable rights, own yourself. Why don't you sit down and like study some of the things that Mitt Romney actually teaches?